Thousands of people are spending this Labor Day Monday trapped right here in this Nevada desert after a late summer storm wreaked havoc on the Burning Man Festival. At least one death has already been reported. CBS's Haley Ott has more. Michael and Olga Davidson were among thousands stuck in Nevada's Black Rock Desert over the weekend after heavy rains turned the ground at Burning Man into a soup of thick, sticky muck. Her bicycle can't move anymore. The pair decided to make a break for it. We are walking out. They made it out, but thousands remained trapped on the festival grounds, known as the Playa. We are not allowed out of the Playa, the gates are locked. Um, we, we're okay. We have enough tuna for a week. The annual Burning Man Festival usually attracts around 80,000 artists and activists who create a temporary community in the Nevada desert. Now, with the roads swamped and impassable, those stuck have limited supplies and no working toilets. At least one death has been reported. Jackson Downing made it to the Reno airport on Sunday. I think a lot of us new people didn't actually realize if it the rain does get bad, you can't leave. That never even crossed a lot of our minds. For those still stranded, they're making the best of it. Justin Schumann has been in the desert for 11 days. What I have seen personally is resilience. I've seen a huge amount of people coming together. I have seen strangers hugging strangers. I have seen people gifting things to others. The weather is expected to clear today, allowing organizers to open the gates for departures, marking the end for some of a stay in the desert they'll surely never forget. Haley Ott, CBS News, New York.